it's all encompassing. He has a, because when a producer takes a script and decides he wants to produce it, uh, the first person he'll hire is usually a general manager, a guy who's going to handle the money and everything else. And, uh, and his next hiring is a stage manager because the production stage manager has to control everything from the, the costumes when it, they come in, the, the building of the sets, the putting together of everything. He hires his assistants. He, he agrees on, on the stage hands, how many stage hands he needs for what. He's help, can, helping to control the budget. And then he has to, the whole design of the show, and he controls the rehearsals and everything and see that everything is right and put the pieces together. He's a guy that, that puts the crossword puzzle, puts the uh, puzzle together to make it work. And then he has to run it because each time the show is presented, it's a brand new thing. Each time it's, it's being done live. And, he has to, and then when the show is running, he's painting the picture with lights because he's controlling the intensity of the lights, uh, uh, the, the sound. Every, he's, he's on top of everything. He has to be con in full, complete control of everything. So if a piece is missing, it's his problem. Control, he must control the actors and so on. He must take notes to see what is and isn't done. That's why for opening night, in the, which I found out later, and which I did later and so on, for opening night, I would always run my show myself. Then after that, I would let my assistant run the show, and I would go and sit out front and take notes of things that need to be changed or things that weren't being done properly and so on, like the lighting or an actor is laid on a cue and all that sort of thing, so that you keep, you have to keep control of the show and the pace of the show and everything.